Over 900 million rands was budgeted for by the National Department of Human Settlement to eradicate bucket system toilets in the 2015-2016 financial year. Yet, some communities still use them. Tabo Madie from Scotland in Colini is among those subjected to the indignity of a bucket toilet. He has just removed his bucket toilet and is attempting to install a pit latrine. He says the bucket toilets yeah. are a hazard as their waste is not collected. Residents say the buckets are also not safe for children. My children can't even go inside, so I think we need help. Other residents lament government's incomplete project to install sewage pipes. She says government has installed sewage pipelines that are not complete. She wants government to eradicate the bucket toilets. He says that the toilets are not safe as there are worms that are calling into their houses. Meanwhile, the Northwest Department of Human Settlement says it is still determined to eradicate the bucket system. We are committed to ensuring that communities live in a safe environment. And key to this is the eradication or dealing away with the bucket system. And as indicated, we are busy in Scotland. We There are sites that have already uh, you know, been serviced or been um, serviced with the necessary pipes and sewage systems. According to States SA, about 625,000 people were still using the bucket system in the Northwest in 2019. Deborah Pakedi, SABC News, Scotland, in Colini.